In this video, I would like to show you how to solve this problem by using 1D modeling in Abacus. So in this case, we have one meter beam loaded with a line load 100 newton per millimeter. And this is our cross section shape or the profile of our beam, I beam with the dimension in millimeter. So in Abacus, I would like to analyze our part in millimeter. Because we are the one who need to control the units. In Abacus, it does not have the units. So we need we need to define the units and control the units. So in this case, I would like to create the part. So we would like to create 1D. So we just choose 2D planar. And it can deform and use wire. Because we would like to create only one line. And then as our beam, the length is 1 meter. So I will put 1,000 which is equivalent in 1000 millimeter equivalent to 1 meter so click ok so i just need to create a line which is the length is 1000 from negative 500 to 500 okay click ok you can press the roller on your mouse okay and then we, maybe we can check is it our dimension is correct so check so it's 1005 so you should have 1000 okay once done just need to press the roller on your mouse then click done so now we already have one uh, our beam okay one meter beam or 1000 millimeter beam so next step is to create the property or the material properties so we just need to create the material okay uh, you can put aluminium, steel, whatever that you want. So, for example, in this case, I would like to use uh, steel. So, I just use create a steel material, and then I just use the very basic material properties, which is the elastic properties. I just need to put uh, to give the input the Young modulus and the Poisson ratio. So, as Young modulus, as we use the units in millimeter, so we have to convert all the units in millimeters for example uh, 200 gigapascal now i have to change it uh, the units to newton per millimeter square so it become 200 power 3 and Poisson ratio is 0 0.3 so okay so we are like to create the section so i would like to create section uh, beam in this case so I just need to choose the category is beam, type beam, and continue. So here we need to create the profile of our beam. So in our case, we like to solve for I beam. So I choose I and continue. Next, I need, I need to fill up these uh, parameters. So according to our dimension in this problem. So I here is the distance or the position of our natural axis or the centroid of the profile so in this case as our beam is symmetry okay so meaning that our natural axis will be in the middle so go back so i should be in the middle which is 100 divided by 2 equals to 50 h is the total height of our uh, beam which is 100 B1 is the uh, dimension for the, uh, for the flange, which is, in our case, is 60. B2 for the upper flange, also 60. Okay, T1, the thickness of the bottom flange, which is 10. The upper flange, the T2, also 10. And the thickness of the, our web, we okay, go back and check, so it's 5. So just put 5, then we click OK. And then we check our material is still the one that we create just now. Okay, so here just put again the Poisson ratio, then click OK. So we like to assign that section to our beam. So we just need to choose all our beams. Okay, then click done. And then the section is beam. Okay, so material uh, is still, then we click. Okay, so now 
our beam has turned into green color meaning that it already has property so next step is to create the orientation okay so we just need to click to choose all our uh, beam click uh, ok and then just press um, enter or you can press the roller in at your mouse and just click ok by default the next step is to create or uh, to go to assembly which is to choose the part that we like to analyze so in this case we only has only one part so that's only our part that we like to analyze and then here we click independent is the for the meshing later on okay just click ok next step is to create a step so in this case and the step is the type of analysis so in this case we just want to solve it by using static so we just click static and continue and then here we just use the default uh, setting okay just click ok next step interaction we do not have any interaction between two parts okay so we just we can skip go to load and boundary conditions so here we need, need to create the loads okay so as we check in our problem we have the line loads okay 100 newton per millimeter so in abacus we just choose the best uh, loads that relevant to our case so in this case we use line load then we just click continue okay choose the part this one and then click done next component one is for the x directions component two for y direction so as i will look in y direction so we just need to fill up in component two which is equal to 100 newton per millimeter so we just click ok so now we have the the loads applied to the beam next is to create the boundary conditions as in our case the boundary condition we have a fixed support on the left side so in abacus we would like to create the same thing so we just choose this one symmetry continue and then we choose this point on the left side then click done and we choose the last one here okay so that all the deformation is zero the rotation also zero then we click okay so we have our loads and boundary conditions so next step is to create the nodes and elements so first create the nodes okay so here is the default value 100 you can you can use this value or you can change according whatever the value that you like but remember this is student version abacus so it has the limitation in terms of its nodes which is 1000 nodes okay so our length is uh, 1000 millimeter so maybe i i would like to use 10 okay the the distance between two nodes right is 10 so I just apply or you can click OK. Okay, so now I already create the, the nodes. Okay, so you just click done. Next step is to create this one. Okay, or the, to create the elements. Click this one, just need to click yes. Okay, so now we our beam has been uh, discretized into elements. Next is to assign the element type. Okay, just choose all our beam click ok and then uh, element library is standard so we just use geometry order linear and then the family is under beam okay and then the rest just click ok then we click done next step is to create uh, the job okay uh, the analysis so I just create the job I see that in this case I just want to put, to put the name for to our file is one beam 1d let's say 1d beam okay and continue just click just follow the, the default setting okay and then just click this one the job manager okay choose the, the job that you create just now and then we just need to submit it for the analysis and then we just need to wait until the status change to completed so once it's, it's completed then you can click the result okay and then you can click this one to see the deform shape okay this is for the bone misses so if you would like to see the deformation so, do, so just go here and change to you okay you represent uh, defo uh, the displacement so you and we like to see the displacement in y direction so choose 
u2 so this is the, the result for u2 so if you would like to change uh, the, the font size and so on just go to the viewport here so here viewport annotation option click legend and set the font okay we can choose uh, put a bigger font okay for example 12 and then I apply for everything okay for every font in the display so like you, you it's good for the for the report so it's clear to show the values all right so here is the way how to solve the problem by using 1d beam